Hi, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I promised y'all a tour of Konyang University, which is my language institution, and I'm giving that to you guys today. But first of all, I would like to show you guys what's around, because I feel like the outside is as important as the inside. On the outside, what do we have? Okay, there is a restaurant mm -hmm. that you guys can go to. If you are coming to Konyang de Akyu, if this is going to be your language institution, then check this place out. Oh yeah, and it's really a stone throw. Like literally a stone throw. Yeah. You can grab a stone and throw. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually the outside of the school. We've not yet started the inside tour. Oh, I almost forgot there is this office. Opis Depot mm -hmm. here. Um, it's like a stationery shop. So if you didn't want to go all the way to Daiso, because Daiso is actually pretty far from here, then you could just come here. They have really cute stationery too. We're gonna cross soon. Let's wait for the car. Okay, here she is. Hack your key. It's actually not open on Saturdays and Sundays, right? Yeah. Just Mondays to Fridays. So you can trust in the lady here to take very good care of you. She's actually very sweet. Some sisters. And she makes the best food. And they're usually really large portions. Oh yeah. So come here for your meals. There is also a hair salon here. If this caters to your kind of hair, then you can come here. So many Nora Banks here actually. I feel like when I say Nora Bang, you guys may not necessarily know why I mean, but like a Nora Bang simply means Nora Bang singing room. <laughs> karaoke is so basically like a karaoke room and you pay money cash coins to sing and we have so many of them here actually there is one here i've never been to this one actually i've never been here before and there is one over there Black and there is another one really far away from the school area and I believe you can find that one for yourself when you come here. <laughs> convenience stores are called Pionijum in Korean. And they are literally convenience stores because they operate 24 hours. So whenever, you can always trust to come out and find one open. And we have GS25 and um, what's the other one? 7-Eleven. Feel free to talk. It's oh, okay. Yeah, feel <laughs> right. free to comment. Uh -huh. Maybe we should go a bit closer so they can see. beloved GS25 right here this is a bus stop <laughs> is it necessary to show? oh yeah <laughs> there is a Dia coffee and I've been here a couple of times to maybe edit videos and to kind of do life work there are so many cafes in Korea it's crazy every every street may have like three to four True. cafes yeah. there, which is interesting But it's okay yeah. and the buses are never actually like filled up as you would see in Seoul so it, it's kind of convenient um, if you do not like crowds and if you like quiet and peace then Nonsan exactly. would be a beautiful place for you you would have a beautiful experience here and there is also a station Nonsan Yok and if you ever feel restless or you feel bored and you want to escape you could always take um, the train mm. to Daejeon. Daejeon is a much larger city and there are lots of things to do there. And you could also take the train as well to Seoul. It's just, but if you like quiet life, then you would really appreciate Monsan. I actually prefer 7 Eleven to GS25. That's true. 7 Eleven has more variety in comparison to GS25, but that's just my personal preference. Of course, when you come, you can find out stuff for yourself, but here. Oh, the famous water shit town. Yeah, I've actually never been here before, but he has been here before, so maybe yep. he would do the okay. honors of introducing <laughs> water shit town to us. All right, so this was actually the first restaurant I was shown because mm. I was very hungry when I arrived. And, You're always hungry. Right? <laughs> So I spoke with a couple of friends that, oh, where can I actually get some good meal, you know, to enjoy mm -hmm. my first few days in Korea, what was the best place to go to? 
and I was introduced to water, mm. right? I don't what I don't know if it, it's with the sat no came. I don't know if that's the translation with water. That's what's going with, but Oda is to come. Water oh, came. Ah, water came. Water came. So Visited. exactly. Came. I don't. I, well, I'll speak to the lady, the sergeant, and I'll ask her what it means. So um, I would say mm -hmm. before I got to know Hakugin, which is now my favorite, right? Mm. Uh, water was where I actually ate a lot. I love your yeah. meals, yeah. Very good meals as well. The lady is also very friendly. Most of the the um, sajanims here in the restaurant mm -hmm. are very very friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, particularly Wata, um, Hakyogil as mm -hmm. well. And this soup place is also very good. Soup place? Yeah. Um, it's Halher's Hunde. I've actually never been here too. This yeah. place is actually very good, very different varieties of soup, right? Mm -hmm. You would really enjoy it. What I like a lot is the one that has sundae, like sundae in there. For me, I like a lot of protein. Mm. Yeah, so if protein is your thing, and particularly with soups, this place is actually the best for you to come to. So there is Hansu. It's a Chinese oh. owned restaurant here. They specialize in the shirax. Doshirax is basically mm -hmm. um, students' lunch boxes. Okay. So when you come to Korea, it's actually a very common thing. Um, lunch boxes, doshiraks are very common. So you have like a plate, and the plate is divided into sections. And then you have rice, chicken, pork, vegetables, everything sectioned and then put together into the doshirak. So it's convenient for students because it has everything you need, and it's also kind of cheap. Mm. So that's perfect for student life. So this is the ice cream shop. It's like a self-serving ice cream shop. So there is literally no one here. Let's go inside. I didn't know there were so many flavors of ice cream in existence. True. It's crazy. And yeah, so basically you want to pay, you just click on the button and you make your payment so there is no one here to pay to and I think that's what makes it very convenient and the fact that it's always open all day long so that makes it very convenient and I feel like that's why I began to have an addiction because I was just like I could always pop in here at any time and get ice cream but do not be like me do not be like me do not come here so often and eat vegetables eat fruits yeah. live a healthy life we can do this in the rain. <laughs> this area is mostly houses. So if you come to Konyang University and you want to stay outside, then you could consider the houses here because they are walking distance from school and they are cheap. Kind of. Relatively, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The drizzle is getting heavier. Um, Okay, so now I feel like we've done a tour of everything on the outside and I would like to take you guys inside. Okay, okay. That's where you really do need to see. Yeah, this is what the bus stop looks like. Two benches so you could sit, wait for your bus. Never works. I don't think it's ever accurate. Yeah, <laughs> if, yeah, if your, you want like yeah. up-to-date information on bus arrival and departure times and the buses that are available, then I would recommend Kakao Map. And it's very hard as an English speaker or like a foreigner in general in Korea because everything is literally in Korean. The name of the university, the bus stop number, every single thing is in Korean. And I feel like that's what makes it very hard for foreigners because in addition to being in a new environment, you don't understand the language. So with Papago, you are safe. You are slightly safe <laughs> because with Papago you can take pictures of things and have the translation. Like if I want a translation of this now, I can literally just take a picture. Let me show you guys. Don't disgrace us now, Papago. <laughs> See, it scans and then it gives you a rough English translation because this is not true. Yeah. But at least you can make sense of what's happening, what this is about. Um, yeah. So this is the boys area tour and I feel like we should go inside now because that's where you're going to be most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the grand entrance into the university. Shrug. 
let's read what it says together. It says, um, Nanan. <laughs> it says, Nanan Hausu Ita. And basically, that kind of translates to, I can do it. I can do it. Because you can. And I feel like this was put here, I don't know, to kind of remind you <laughs> that it's possible. Because trust me, guys, it gets so hard. Like, I'm not trying to scare anyone obviously i'm not trying to scare you but like i'm talking about my experiences because i remember during the very early stages of the program like about three weeks in we were having classes and i almost cried <laughs> i almost cried because it was so hard i had no prior knowledge of korean before coming to korea and apparently they teach korean in korean so how exactly am i supposed to grasp what's being taught if i do not understand the language of instruction i don't know if that makes any sense it does but that was my situation i broke down i almost cried so it can get hard and i feel like this is a reminder that nanan also with that you can you can do it and it got easier with time yeah. time does take care of everything true we could move to mm -hmm. other places okay Screen board. thingy. <laughs> <laughs> this huge screen thingy. And it's always there advertising Konyan and all its various departments. And then there is this. This is the campus map. Everything, everything? Yeah, I think everything is here. Like, this is literally the layout of the whole campus. I feel like before we actually show you guys these buildings, I would kind of talk about the places that we as students, yeah. as foreign students, as Korean language students, the places we had to be. So first of all, there is Konyang Kweguan, is the student union, and on the fifth floor, that's where you have the International Affairs Division, and that's where all the activities we have as foreign students are I'm controlled. Taking. Yeah, it's taken care of there. Then there is the library Yongong Dosoguan. I lived here, child. <laughs> I was a regular. I was here almost every day. In fact, I think I still have my the library card. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a sticker <laughs> now. Oh yeah. yeah. And I loved this place. I loved this place. <laughs> you were there too. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, we were there most of the time because it's almost as if we kept on writing exams. Exactly. Every almost five weeks. Every yeah. five weeks on exams, then there was topic yeah. and all of that. So we spent most of our time here. There is Son Hengwa Haksa, mm -hmm. which is Son Hengwa Dormitory, and that's where you would be living as an international student. Floors no. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 okay. are for international yeah. students. Mm -hmm. Floors 2 and 3 are for boys. Floors 5, 6, 7 are for the ladies. Yeah. And apparently in Korea, there is no four. Yeah. Most places do not have like a fourth floor True. because of the, it's thought to be a bad thing. Negative vibes. <laughs> the dormitories actually have gymnasiums on the ground floor but if you want more advanced more safe facilities then you can make it at the gymnasium but you of course you would have to pay yeah. um 30,000 won every month mm -hmm. to make use of this um what it, else is that relatively an expensive price i feel like it could be it could be depending on how you look at it it could be but i think it's worth it it's worth it because 30,000 won wouldn't get you much in south korea true though so you could just use that money to take care of your health 30,000 won is meal for a week yeah it's meal for five days okay it's meal for five days yeah so if you think about it it's worth it then there is um oh yeah there is a school bus station the university has a Daejeon campus so if you want to go to Daejeon you could easily take the school bus for free mm. yeah if you don't want to go to the train station and pay for the train and all of that you could take that bus to Daejeon so this is the map I just want to show you guys this this is your future <laughs> during spring during spring um, it was really beautiful because we had the cherry blossoms all around but now it's summer 
And everything is gone. Everything is green. Everything is green. Okay. So we've arrived at the prestigious student union you know, building. And let me show you guys. Well, people make use of this entrance too, but let's go in through the main entrance. The room is actually getting here. Yeah. Okay. Konyang Peguan, student union building. This is the entrance, the grand entrance. For new intakes into Konyang University, I feel like you guys will be coming here at a much better time because we came when, when the pandemic was very severe. So there were lots of restrictions. You had to do a temperature scan at this point. But now the restrictions are kind of lessening. So now we do not have to do that. You can just enter into the building without a temperature scan, but of course, try to make use of this and have your mask on. So this is the second floor actually, right? Yeah. Yes, this is the second floor of the student union building. Some places that would be useful for you as a student is the cafe, Cafe Blue Pot. And actually the lady here is very nice. For all you coffee lovers, this is fine house. <laughs> Hannah and Hen, the Hannah Bank. And this is where you would conduct all money related affairs as a student of Konyang University. And I came to this bank more often than I was supposed to because I was always having issues. And there was a staff here, a guy. When you come here, you would most likely see him. He's always at the entrance here to usher people in. Yeah. And he was always very kind. <laughs> he was always explaining stuff and he was always helping me out. So you can trust he would do the same for you. Ah, there is a convenience store. Yeah. It took me about three months to realize that there is actually a convenience store in the student union building. And it's very convenient because during break time, for instance, if you didn't have breakfast or something, you could just come here for a quick snack. There are about two microwaves here, and there is also like a water dispenser. Yeah, I think that's that floor, the second floor. And there is the first floor, which is down. Do we. Yeah, yeah. frequent here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were frequent. Yeah. They serve lunch at an okay price. I think a base price of maybe 5,000 won. Then, depending on whether you eat meat or not, yeah. there could be differences. But this is a cafeteria and it's convenient because you just eat here and go back to the dorm. Yeah, but I've actually not been here in a very long time. Yep. And then, I think this is the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. This one. Then the kitchen. When we came, things like the situation was kind of still severe, so it was prohibited. We couldn't make use of the kitchen, and so we always had to eat at the cafeteria or buy food outside. And it was really hard for some people. But now, like I said, restrictions are lessening, so life is so much better. Um... We have your washing area and then we have about seven hot plates there is a microwave actually two microwaves over there two microwaves um there is this refrigerators and you know this racks to keep your items so it's actually very convenient for students as you can see there is a lot actually i don't <laughs> really i don't i've never i think it was just once I came here to cook what's in there. <laughs> but really, if you are looking to save money as a student, and trust me, you do need to save money, then this would be a very good option. So consider that. I think it would have been great to show them the sports lab, but they don't open on Sundays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. But just so you know, there yeah. is a sports lab. I have actually never been there too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you have, right? Yeah. Then maybe you should talk about it. When you get to the first floor, from the main entrance, you take the staircase down, and then 
more like this one, the sports lab goes towards the underground technically. Mm -hmm. So there you can play some snooker pool, mm -hmm. you can play table tennis. So there are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And then there are, um, there's a stage if you're into choreography and dancing. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, there are those stages there and then the mirrors. So mm -hmm. you can practice all of that. So that bit is open for now when the semester begins. Uh, it's open till 6 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barring any changes. Mm -hmm. But um, when you remain here as international students and then the semester ends, it's open till 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it's good to come here, just relax the mind yeah. again. I always look for something to relax the mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's because all the time. Yeah, <laughs> so much stress to go through. Yeah. yeah, so that's just for you to know sports lab. Get there. So now we will take the elevator to the fifth floor, which will be your home. <laughs> Uh, That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> yeah, it would it would actually be your home because you would be here most of the time. Yeah. Floor well, five, we're going up now. As you can see, five floors. This is the Office of International Affairs, which is where everything regarding you will be managed. Yeah. And um, the staff here, they are really helpful. I've had the best experiences with them. Not before you enter. <laughs> So this is Tekpe Bogwanham and this is where your packages will be delivered to. When you get into the university and stuff like that, you would be given like a mailing address that you are expected to use when you order packages. And so your packages come here and this is where you pick them up from. Now we have the classes, we have the classrooms. There are classrooms this way and there are classrooms this way. So let's come in. This is like a lounge, a common area. Often you will find students here just chilling. Mm -hmm. Just chilling. And there are classrooms that way as well. If you want to study. So if you do not want to make use of the library because maybe you fall asleep easily or something like that, then you can make use of this place. But I feel like the problem for most people is that there is no air like, conditioning. Yeah. There is no air conditioning air conditioning system and there is no heating system so during winter it gets very cold here and it's important you would free you would yeah. literally freeze to death if you come here and during summer it's very hot too hot it's too hot so it's like what do we do <laughs> yeah. yeah but if you can withstand temperature extremities <laughs> then you could stay here to study and let's go inside so you can see what it's like so I feel like this place is perfect for group study Yeah. because there is a board to share ideas on and you know, lots of chairs yeah. which you wouldn't find in the library or maybe in cafes and you can actually talk very freely here because it's a common area. So for group study actually this would be nice but for personal studies I would recommend the cafe and the library. The length of this is classrooms. During break, everyone is always here, so you can always be assured that your water needs will be met. Okay, 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 okay. And then there are more classrooms here. Uh, just like you mentioned, there are six classes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, obviously. And depending on your level when you come to Korea, you would be put in a class, and then you rise from there. Just opposite the student union, we have the library. It's a Sunday, so there is always no one. Exactly. I'm going to pay for it. Oh no, it's actually. I know I'm new here. Usually, if I need something, I go to the one with the student union. But it looks convenient. Um, there are elevators as well, and a mirror. <laughs> I didn't know there was an ATM machine here. No, you didn't. I didn't. Oh, it's always been here. I didn't know this was here. <laughs> this is my first time seeing this. And um, maybe we can go inside. Yeah. So you would have a barcode. This would be provided by the school. So you just do this. It becomes. Yeah. So first, 
this is the internet cafe. People come here to study as well if they need to use the computers. But the good thing about this place is that there are so many charging points which are absent in the other reading room. So you can charge your stuff here while you read, while you study. And I think that's what makes this extra convenient for some people. If you're working on your laptop, you need charge. So this is the place for you. Yeah, for the first part, there are portions that there's a there's a hall. There a hall. Yeah, there's a whole room, more like where you can sit and have um, congregations and for you know we went to have the exactly, but that's just for uh, programs as and when they come. Yeah. Yeah, the ground floors of the dormitories, yeah. Yeah, it's not as fancy as this, right? Alrighty, so for the for you football lovers out there, if ever you wanna No, let's start again. <laughs> okay. Alright. So for you football lovers out there, this is Konyan University's football field with the tracks all around it. It doubles up as well for if you want to do some running. If you don't want to use the treadmill and you want to actually have uh, a very natural way to exercise your limbs and your legs and to stretch the muscles, you can actually come here and then walk. Yeah. This area would serve you really well, maybe in your first few weeks or months of coming here before you like explore the area and discover other places. So I think it's necessary we show you around this area. So let's go on. We first moved through here towards the first point that way. All these areas though are restaurant areas. So I bet they serve very, very good meals and yeah. you really enjoy it. But for now, we're kind of focusing on the places he has been to and I have been to. Yeah. places we can talk about oh yes i have been here before actually oh, good. have you been here before no. okay then maybe i can talk about this this right. is buyo tongdak and um i actually had chicken i feel like they specialize in chicken oh and okay like so i had chicken and chips here once and it was really good you guys like mm -hmm. i don't want to boast about chicken <laughs> but the chicken here was really good this is like a picture studio and it's actually very very common in South Korea. Actually, let's go in and get it.
Okay. So I'm gonna show you one restaurant I have been to and I actually really enjoyed the ramen from here. Mm -hmm. For me it's the closest ramen to Indomie. To Indomie, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So um it's it's very tasty and then the soup mm. is actually also it goes very well with the ramen the ramen and the soup very great combination mm. right yeah so you can have a variety of meals mm -hmm. a variety of meals but for me the one that i loved mm -hmm. and the one that a couple of friends and i had mm -hmm. was the ramen okay. which was really tasty mm -hmm. i enjoy good food yeah he does good food, right? yeah so anywhere that gives us or gives you the best food Mm -hmm. You go there and mm -hmm. enjoy it the most. Like yeah, you yeah, right. Yeah, you only live once. It's all the way there. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the name? Kudoro Tonga. Kudoro Tonga. Yes. I feel like I've been. I've actually been here before. Really? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I tried this chicken with the ramen. You didn't have the ramen yeah, showing. I think yeah, I don't to speak, but they do think so. Ramen. Exactly. So it is the best place for me with the ramen i actually think so too yeah so what is normally the practice here is coming to a group of friends and then you split the cost sure. you can have a good conversation as you eat it's normally the practice here so mm -hmm. come here with your friends because you make a lot of friends mm -hmm. yeah so this is rainbow right uh when I came with my friends a couple of days ago, I really enjoyed their chicken. Their chicken is splendid. Really? Yeah, it's is it like, actually really good. Is it chopped up? Yeah, chopped up. Chopped up chicken. Boneless? Yeah. Boneless. Yeah, so their yeah, chicken is really good. And then I had some little ramen, because ramen is really a thing here. Mm -hmm. And their ramen wasn't wasn't that bad at all. Mm -hmm. It was it was It was decent. It was decent, yeah. But then again I'll take the other one I showed you over there. That's it's not even a competition. Luchi <laughs> game yeah. actually literally translates to rainbow beer. Exactly, rainbow beer. But this place, I reckon, is a very nice place that you can have come and have a good time with a group of friends, yeah. like a huge group of friends. Because it's always, open, yeah. yeah, open. You can have good laughs. You can sing along. And oh yeah, there is uh, as as you as you have fun, as you eat, as you drink, they project some music oh, really? yeah oh, the videos are good. playing right behind you so you're gonna actually get up and do some sing-alongs with it mm. it was really a good a, a good experience and i would encourage you to come here yeah okay it was enough with rainbow great then again here is your ideal region to yeah. explore to yeah. explore food drinks everything yeah i also want to talk about this place because This was my favorite thing, um, spicy. Mm. Spicy, spicy chicken. chicken. It's really good. Really, yeah? Oh. It's really good. They have a drink, so many drinks. <laughs> when you come to Korea, they have you as you will in the next few weeks or so. Please try to visit Junior. The ladies here are super nice and this is really good. All of this is good. I mean, there's salad bowls as well. That's okay. But try this out. It's good. Come here. Yeah. Now, I already showed you guys an ice cream shop closer to campus. But then there is this one. And I actually prefer this one because it's more well stocked, as you will see when we go inside.
Alrighty. There's a lot here actually. Mm -hmm. Really sucks. I can bet you could find anything we want here. So mm -hmm. if you didn't want to go so far, you can come here. And we would go inside, but we are not getting anything. So. Yeah. Awesome. I think we've come to the end of this tour. Yeah. It's been, I'm sure this will be a very long video. But I feel like this video would give you an idea, or at least a bit of insight into what to expect when moving here because. I feel like the new graduate students, right? The new graduate students, some of you guys will be sent to Konyang University. And this video is to help you know what to expect and to know the key places and recommendations beneath them. And um, I hope you have a lovely stay in Konyang University and I hope you have a lovely stay in Nonsa. Um And I wish you all the best too. Thank you so much for watching this far. Um, uh, if this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm Fluffy, and with me today was a Marco. Yeah. yeah. Our Ghanaian brother. And, Peace. Um, I'm going to check out more videos on this channel, and you know, if this is your vibe, you can subscribe and say hi in the comments. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Alright, so this has been a Marco, featuring on Fluffy's YouTube channel. Uh, showing you around Northland and Konyang University. I believe very well that when you come to Konyang, uh, you would have a very good time, irrespective of all that you go through, and irrespective of how stressful it could get. Know that you can do it. Nanon has some tough, right? And For sure. Whenever you feel like a bit burdened, you can explore these facilities that we've shown you. Take a good walk through these walkways and these paths. They are made for you to be able to relieve your stress. And we will see you very soon. Subscribe to Fluffy's YouTube channel. Watch more of the videos. Have a blast. <laughs>